All right, everybody. We are headed back down here because I was using the ghost tube um, app earlier, which I got part of those videos, but the very first part of my video, um, the audio is there, but no video at all. So I'm coming back down here to show you these mounds or burial grounds. Um, I have been watching a history channel on YouTube. Um, I can't remember the name of it, sorry. But they were talking about how the Mayan Indians of South America, Mexico, South America, um, migrated here to the United States and settled in Georgia. Um, there's actually proof and evidence of it in Dahlonega. And um, there's another red bird, guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. No, he flew off. They say that red birds cardinals are um, messengers from the spirits. And I believe it. When I was down here earlier, it um, I got a little bit of conversation. You'll see some of that in the part that didn't get messed up from those two. But as I was saying, the M Mayan Indians came here and settled in Georgia. And at some point became Creek Indians. that are known to be part of Georgia's history. I just um, keep seeing something up ahead and I don't know what it is. We're actually down back where I filmed the Trapped in the Bear's Den video. If you um, haven't seen that already, go check that out. Um, and this time, I'm all by myself. My friend Buster was with me earlier, but I don't know where he went. So I'm doing this part of the video by myself. But we are here. It's not too far from where we stay. <sighs> Let me see if I can get up there. All right, guys, we're going to head up this way. You can see the start of the mound right there that's part of it and when I was here earlier it confirmed that this was a grave oh it's that's one of them the other one's over here the bigger one but there's also something really really cool and creepy too That I'm going to show you. But I wanted to show you these first. You guys listen out. For any big movement in the woods. Because that bear. Or them hogs. Could be anywhere. And I am i can't run. If the hogs didn't kill me. The running would. What was that? All right, we're going to make this part quick. And I'll definitely have the rest of the video. Where I picked off, picked up before. But, um, I don't want to be out here too long by myself. I did bring my K2 meter and my... Um, 
um, EMF reader. So we, we will do that much. See if we get any kind of reading. And I can't do a spirit box because I'm using my phone camera because everything else is dead. And that's just the way it worked out. But like I said, I did bring my K2 and um, my other um, device. So we'll try both of those and see if we get any have any luck alright I'm not too fond of this little device but it does seem to work with the dolls so I'm going to set that there that right there if there's any spirits here like before you can touch that device the copper on it and it will make that light blue, shine blue. And then I also have this device here that will also light up. So if there's anybody here, any spirits here that wish to communicate, you can do so by speaking into the camera. For one, you could do that as well. Or, oh... I don't know if you saw that, but it spiked up quite a bit. So, is there somebody here that wishes to communicate? If you do, you can make the lights go up. Make them go up to the red mark, please, for me. My name is April. Um, I'm just here to learn about you. Um, if this is a grave, can you make the K2 spike? Can you make it light up? Or can you make the other device light up? Can you touch either one for me? The Creek Indians have been prominent through this entire area for, well, they were some of the first settlers here, or well, I don't know how to say it. They they were always here before white man came, but um, this is where they their territory, I guess you'd say, before they were forced onto reservations, which is completely sad. And by the way, I'm a quarter Cherokee Indian. Um, my great-grandmother's Cherokee, full-blooded. There's anybody here that wishes to communicate. Um, you can do so by letting either one of those devices just light up. Is this a burial mound? For the Creek Indians? Or is this for another? Slave burial? Or Confederate? Georgia was also um, one of the... Um major spots or I guess you would call it um, battlegrounds there were quite a few spots in Georgia where um, battles were fought during the Confederate War as well as the Revolutionary War Alright guys, I'm going to let that sit there and maybe they'll warm up to us. But I wanted to show you this really, really creepy but kind of cool 
thing that Buster showed me earlier. Y'all, look at this. I'm gonna try not to fall in. But I do want you guys to get a really good look at that. You see that? It's a well. I don't see any bodies down there, but... Lord have mercy if you fell in there. You'd never be able to get out. What was that? Man. I'm totally on edge. Seeing as how... The last time I was down here... There were... Bears and shit. I don't know what that is down there. It looks like a tent of some sort. But I'm not going down there. I, I, it does look like a tent for sure. Could be a deer blind. It could be just my imagination though too. Anyway. Oh, see, now, it was going off as I was walking up. Now it stopped. I mean, it was just fluctuating like crazy. Now it's just stopped completely. I mean no harm or disrespect. I would really like for you to communicate with me using one of the two devices. Guys, if you hear anything or see anything, please comment below. And like and share the video. And for those of you who haven't already that are, that are watching my videos, subscribe. I know they're not very long videos, most of them. Um, but I'm getting better every day. And I'm learning every day. Oh, shit. Guys, we gotta get out of here. There's um, something big and black coming this way. And I want no part of it. Shit. Oh my god, did you hear that? It sounded like somebody screaming. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Alright. Oh, I don't know which way to go. And I really can't run, guys. Do you guys hear that? I don't know which.
which way I'm supposed to be going. What the fuck? I gotta get my bearings. I'm trying really, really hard to get away from whatever this is. It's, I don't know. It's like seven feet tall. It could be Slender Man, but I thought it was a bear, but bears aren't seven feet tall. And Oh my god, it's tracking me, like, slowly. I mean, I can see it. But, it ends up like, you know, almost like a predator. Guys, do you see? Do you see that? Over here. Right here, right here. Right in there. I'm scared to move. I'm scared if it sees me. Or here's my footsteps. I should have waited on Buster. I just wanted you guys to have that really good First part of this video, I really wanted to show you the mound and the well. Oh shit, here it comes. Oh. Guys, uh, I'll, I'll get right back to you. I gotta get out of here. Y'all, I'm really at uh, something. I'm trying to run out of here. And I tripped over that over there. And I think I broke my leg. And the, the thing is coming. I called Buster, but... I couldn't get in touch with him. I called Miss Gwen. I couldn't get in touch with her. <laughs> I ripped my pants. <laughs> I ripped my pants. And I think I busted my leg. I don't know. It hurts so bad. <laughs> I think Buster's coming.